Thank you very much for joining me on this Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and we have our big major winter storm up here. This is what's going to be diving across the eastern U.S. and bringing that cooler weather to parts of the Caribbean, windier conditions, choppier seas, and definitely a noticeable change in temperatures for the upcoming weekend for a lot of us as we approach Christmas with this colder air that is going to be diving down. So again, the system just starting to uh, take shape now, and I'll be watching that evolve as we go over the next few days back into the Caribbean itself. I'm going to dive into our forecast here in the Caribbean specifically, take it to many spots. All islands matter, small, large, all locations matter, and I'll get into that. Now, let me tie everything together. Here's the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico, Bahamas. My friends in Bermuda, we're going to see this front work by. So a developing system. This is Thursday, so this is by tomorrow, Thursday morning. A lot of moisture feeding into this. Now, a southerly flow out ahead of it. The storm system so strong over here developing, it's going to draw on some warmer air, and that's why it's mainly a rain event east coast of the United States. But as this develops and moves Thursday into Friday up toward New England, Newfoundland, as you get into eastern Canada, huge windmaker uh, into parts of New England, into eastern Canada. There's going to be power outages for the wind alone up here. A huge wind event, gusty winds. And then you see here, by the time we get into Friday, look at this again, the cold colder air is going to rush around this. So big storm system, you get that counterclockwise flow bringing in the colder air, warmer air on this side of it. That's why over toward, say, New York City, mainly the rain. But look at the trailing front anywhere from Bermuda back through the Bahamas, Cuba. You see some of this rain. That's the front that is starting to dive down through the Gulf of Mexico and then eventually into the Northern Caribbean. So again, this is Friday. And then as we work our way forward in time, this is by the time we get into the weekend on Saturday, Christmas Eve day, if you will. And you see here again, this system watching over towards St. John's, a vigorous system, cold air, blustery conditions, rain changing over to snow for my friends in Canada. And then you see this front here, opening the floodgates for that colder air to work down. That extra rain in Belize by the time we get into Saturday, that is from the front. Cayman Islands will have some extra rain on Saturday. That is from the front stretching back through Cuba near Jamaica over toward the Bahamas close to the Turks and Caicos and right up through uh, Bermuda. So watching that front and even as we get into Christmas Day, so looking ahead to Christmas, again, a better chance of rain right through here. That's all because of the front storm system well away, but there's the front that'll bring the change in winds more out of the north. So a higher chance of rain for some of us as we get into Christmas. Christmas itself. Now let's get into the forecast as we go forward over the next couple days. Always got you covered. So here we are as we take you through today this afternoon. Spotty showers. You don't see any big blobs of rain. Some of the exceptions, Suriname, some rain. Spotty shower, even a thunderstorm. Jacmel, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Santo Domingo as you get toward Puerto Rico. Scattered showers and storms, a possibility. A little bit more so over toward the Bahamas with that system departing uh, Florida. May see a few showers, Turks and Caicos, and again up through the Bahamas. Belize, spotty showers, Cayman Islands, Jamaica moving uh, through today into tomorrow to look ahead for you. Now again, thinking of what's going on up to the north with that uh, vigorous uh, system that's going to be getting closer as we work our way into Thursday, tomorrow afternoon, Guyana and Suriname, which is kind of typical for this time of year. It is a little more typical. You get still that uh, wet season action down here with uh, the storm pattern, but it's been wetter than usual. As we well know, spotty shower possible as we get toward uh, Jamaica, Antigua, and Barbuda. Could see a couple, not as many in Belize. Still some scattered showers and storms at times in Belize, but look at this showing you what's next. This is by the time we get into Friday. This extra rain here, that's the leading edge of the front. I was showing you on the big picture and how it ties into our weather in the Caribbean. That'll eventually move our way, give us that higher chance of rain, northern sections, especially as we get into the upcoming weekend and Christmas Day itself. Aruba, uh, Bonaire, Curacao will be on the warm side of things on Friday, but even a hint of a northerly breeze after this front passes by as we get into the upcoming weekend. So let me bring into some forecasts again, uh, start in the eastern Caribbean, isolated rain, 20% chance, 30% chance in some spots higher, southern zone still 
Brazil, Guyana, and Suriname. Passing shower storm, ABC Islands, Venezuela, Colombia, same thing. Hit or miss shower storm as we work our way through Jamaica. Now, as we get back into the Western Caribbean, you see uh, Cayman Islands back through Belize, 30, 40% chance of a shower, a little bit of a better chance to get toward Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, about a 50% chance over toward uh, Colombia. Uh, so again, uh, the farther south you are better chance of getting some rain. Specifically in Belize, uh, today about a 40% chance of rain, picking up a little bit more so tomorrow, about a 50% chance as we get into uh, tomorrow's forecast. Scattered uh, showers that will be around 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 28 degrees Celsius. My friends over toward Hopkins and Ladyville. We swing back toward Jamaica, over toward Falmouth on the north side, the alley on the south side, Black River. Uh, again, watching out for some scattered showers and storms today and tomorrow in Jamaica, about a 30 percent chance of a passing shower storm still staying very warm. We won't get some of those changes until we get into the upcoming weekend with those temperatures. Got you covered in Jamaica, Anguilla, St. Kitts, and Nevis. Here's Phillipsburg all the way down through Salem, Montserrat. We get toward uh, Antigua and Barbuda. St. John's watching out for mainly dry conditions today. A little passing shower possible today and tomorrow. A 20 percent chance. Winds are going to start to pick up. Nothing like we'll get this weekend. It will get higher this weekend and early next week, but winds east at about 32 uh, kilometers an hour, 20 miles per hour. Trinidad and Tobago, Charlottesville, uh, all the way down toward uh, Port of Spain. You see those scattered showers and storms today. I mentioned more to the south, parts of Venezuela, Guyana, and Suriname, but for us in Trinidad and Tobago, a 30% chance, 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit, more of that rain down to the south, and some of those breezy conditions uh, with us. All right, pulling forward as we swing back uh, over toward Barbados. Now, Barbados, we've had the choppier seas. Those are going to be picking up and some gustier winds. Note the winds east at about 40 kilometers an hour, 25 miles per hour. St. Lucia, passing shower possible. St. Vincent of the Grenadines over toward uh, Port Elizabeth, uh, down toward St. George's as we get into Grenada, passing shower or a storm. Possibility of that a little bit breezier as well. Here's Aruba, 29 degrees uh, Celsius for today. Partly cloudy, isolated shower storm. Rain chance at 20%. So we go from Aruba back to Dominica, 29 degrees uh, Celsius today. 30% chance of a passing shower. Winds will be picking up the next few days out of the east at about 32 kilometers an hour, 20 miles per hour. And another stop, my friends, in Puerto Rico. Passing shower storm today, uh, about a 30, 40 percent chance winds east at 20 miles per hour about 83 degrees Puerto Rico we're going to notice some of that cooler weather especially at night as we get into Sunday Monday and Tuesday as we work our way into next week including the British Virgin Islands and U.S. Virgin Islands so that major cold front up to the north in the United States that enters the northern Caribbean by the time we get into Saturday I showed you those areas where that rain chance increases. And again, the gusty winds and higher seas overall are going to return with the Christmas winds. And I know a lot of us are busy this time of year, and the good focus should be on Christmas or whatever you may be uh, celebrating. I do want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for being part of this channel. And uh, thank you for, to all the new subscribers. We've had so many. It's been a wonderful year. I'm going to hang with you. Uh, that's my promise to you. Got you covered across the uh, Caribbean. Thank you to all of you, too, that have been sharing this channel with your friends and family. Um, I see that and I appreciate that. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a good uh, few days ahead.